Using a combination of satellite imagery and high-precision GPS instruments, geophysicists have detected subtle yet noticeable ground uplift approximately 3 miles 5 kilometers, from the South Sister Volcano, part of the Three Sisters Volcanic Cluster in Oregon, USA. This uplift, though small, has captured the attention of scientists due to its potential implications for volcanic activity in the region. While this phenomenon has prompted researchers to closely monitor the area, they emphasize that similar uplift events have occurred in the past without leading to eruptions, and there is no immediate cause for public concern. The Three Sisters are a group of striking volcanic peaks located in the Cascade Range, renowned for their scenic beauty and geological significance. Each peak rises above 10,000 feet, 3,000 meters, making them the fourth, fifth, and sixth tallest mountains in Oregon. While they appear dormant to casual observers, they hold a complex volcanic history. The North and Middle Sisters are considered extinct, as they have not erupted in over 14,000 years and show no signs of renewed activity. However, the South Sister, the youngest of the three, erupted as recently as 2,000 years ago and remains an active volcano with the potential for future eruptions. Scientific interest in the South Sister was heightened in the 1990s when researchers first detected tectonic uplift in the area, indicating magma movement beneath the surface. This discovery prompted the United States Geological Survey USGS, to establish a comprehensive monitoring network to study the volcano. The current episode of uplift, while not unprecedented, has reignited interest because its rate of deformation is distinctly faster than the background rate typically observed. Although it is not as rapid as the peak rates seen during a major uplift event between 1999 and 2000, its persistence has drawn scientific scrutiny. To investigate the cause of the uplift, the USGS employs advanced monitoring techniques. Radar satellites are utilized to map ground deformation over large areas, identifying regions where the surface is bulging upward, uplift, or subsiding downward, downwelling. Ground-based GPS stations complement these observations by providing precise, localized measurements of surface movement. The combination of these tools allows scientists to track even subtle changes in the Earth's crust with high accuracy. Researchers believe the uplift is driven by the accumulation of magma approximately 4 miles 7 kilometers, beneath the South Sister. This magma intrusion is likely causing the Earth's surface to deform as pressure builds underground. While magma accumulation is a critical factor in volcanic processes, it does not necessarily indicate an imminent eruption. Historically, volcanic eruptions are preceded by a suite of warning signs, including swarms of small earthquakes, significant ground deformation, and detectable changes in gas emissions. Importantly, none of these precursors have been observed at the South Sister or the surrounding area. The current uplift highlights the South Sister's status as an active volcano, but it does not warrant alarm. The volcano's alert level and color code remain at normal, green indicating no immediate hazards to nearby communities or visitors. Nevertheless, the USGS continues to monitor the area closely, ensuring that any significant changes in activity are detected and communicated promptly. In summary, while the detected uplift underscores the dynamic nature of the volcanic system beneath the Three Sisters, it is not indicative of an impending eruption. This event provides scientists with a valuable opportunity to study magma dynamics and refine their understanding of the region's volcanic behavior, enhancing preparedness for any future activity. How did the Three Sisters volcano form? The Three Sisters volcanoes, North Sister, Middle Sister, and South Sister, are iconic peaks within the Cascade Volcanic Arc, a chain of volcanoes stretching across the Pacific Northwest. These majestic volcanoes owe their formation to the subduction of the oceanic Juan de Fuca Plate beneath the continental North American Plate, a process that has been shaping the region for millions of years. This subduction occurs along the Cascadia subduction zone, where the denser oceanic plate sinks beneath the lighter continental plate, generating immense heat and pressure. These conditions cause parts of the subducting plate to melt, creating magma that rises toward the Earth's surface. Over time, this magma finds pathways through the crust, erupting and building up volcanic structures like the Three Sisters. The formation of the Three Sisters began during the Pleistocene Epoch, more than one million years ago, and illustrates the progression of volcanic development over time. 
the North Sister, the oldest of the trio, was the first to emerge. This stratovolcano is composed primarily of basaltic and andesitic lava which form during repeated eruptions. Over millennia, glacial activity has profoundly altered its appearance, carving away its flanks and exposing its volcanic core. Its rugged eroded features make it a striking example of an ancient volcano that has been largely shaped by natural forces. Following the North Sister, the Middle Sister began to form through successive eruptions of andesitic and acidic lava. Its structure retains more of its volcanic shape compared to the North Sister, but it too has been heavily influenced by glaciers, which have sculpted deep valleys and ridges across its surface. While it has been dormant for thousands of years, the Middle Sister stands as a testament to the region's dynamic volcanic history. The South Sister, the youngest and most active of the three, began its development within the last 50,000 years. Its history includes both effusive lava flows and explosive pyroclastic eruptions, which have created its relatively well-preserved volcanic structure. Notably, its summit features a large crater, likely formed during its most recent significant eruption approximately 2,000 years ago. This eruption deposited layers of volcanic material across the surrounding landscape, contributing to the region's diverse geological features. The Three Sisters collectively shaped the local environment, leaving behind vast fields of basalt and andesite rock from their lava flows. During the Ice Age, glaciers covered the region, carving valleys, creating moraines, and further transforming the volcanic terrain. This interplay of volcanic activity and glacial erosion has produced the dramatic and rugged landscape that characterizes the Three Sisters area today. While the North and Middle Sisters are considered extinct, having shown no signs of volcanic activity for over 14,000 years, the South Sister remains active. Magma reservoirs beneath the South Sister continue to cause subtle ground deformations, such as the uplift detected in recent decades. These observations suggest ongoing magmatic processes below the surface, though no immediate signs of an eruption, such as seismic activity or gas emissions, have been observed. The South Sister remains a focus of scientific monitoring to better understand the risks it may pose in the future. The Three Sisters volcanoes are not only geological landmarks, but also symbols of the powerful forces that have shaped the Pacific Northwest. Each volcano represents a different stage in the life cycle of a stratovolcano. The North Sister, an ancient and eroded relic of the past. The Middle Sister, a dormant but geologically younger structure. And the South Sister, an active volcano that continues to evolve. Together, they offer a window into the region's volcanic history and a reminder of the ever-changing nature of our planet. But, if the Three Sisters volcano were to erupt, the potential impacts could be significant and would largely depend on the type and intensity of the eruption. The most immediate concern would be the threat of ashfall, which could extend over a wide area, affecting communities within 50 to 100 miles of the volcano. Depending on wind patterns, this ash could travel even further, posing hazards to air travel, agriculture, and infrastructure. Towns like Sisters, Oregon, and other nearby communities could face disruptions due to ash covering roads, contaminating water supplies, and impacting local economies. The weight of the ash could also damage roofs and infrastructure, leading to potential structural failures in affected areas. An eruption might also produce lava flows, particularly if it were effusive in nature. These lava flows would be most dangerous to areas immediately surrounding the volcano, such as parts of the Cascade Mountains, where they could destroy forests, buildings, and other infrastructure. However, the risk from lava flows is more localized compared to the broader impacts of ashfall. If the eruption were more explosive, it could generate pyroclastic flows, mixtures of hot gas, ash, and volcanic material that move rapidly downhill at high speeds. These flows would pose an immediate and severe threat to life and property in valleys and low-lying areas surrounding the volcano. Communities like Bend, Oregon, located to the northeast of the Three Sisters, could be at risk if pyroclastic flows were to move in their direction. The rapid and deadly nature of these flows means that they could cause significant damage and pose a serious danger to anyone caught in their path. Another potential hazard is the creation of lahars, mud flows resulting from the eruption melting snow and ice on the volcano. These lahars can travel down river valleys, reaching far from the source of the eruption. Communities along the Deschutes River, such as Bend, could be at risk if lahars were triggered during an eruption. 
The combined water from melted ice and ash-laden debris can create highly destructive flows that can travel great distances, damaging infrastructure, disrupting transportation systems, and threatening homes and agricultural lands. The United States Geological Survey, USGS, continuously monitors the Three Sisters for any signs of increased volcanic activity. This monitoring includes a network of seismic instruments, GPS stations, and satellite data to detect ground deformation, gas emissions, or seismic swarms that might indicate an imminent eruption. If signs of unrest are detected, the alert level can be raised, triggering early warnings and evacuation plans for the potentially affected areas. While there are currently no signs of an imminent eruption at the Three Sisters, the potential impacts of such an event could be severe. The region is relatively well prepared for volcanic events, but the vulnerability of nearby communities and the risks posed by volcanic hazards underscore the need for ongoing monitoring and preparedness. Likewise, if the Three Sisters volcano were to erupt, there is the potential for triggering activity in nearby volcanoes due to the interconnected volcanic system along the Cascade Volcanic Arc. The Cascades are a region with numerous volcanic centers that share a common source of magma generation and are influenced by similar tectonic forces. While the likelihood of an eruption at the Three Sisters directly causing a major eruption at another nearby volcano is relatively low, the close proximity of these volcanic centers means that any significant volcanic activity could influence neighboring systems. For instance, an eruption at the Three Sisters could disturb the magma reservoirs beneath Mount Bachelor, which is located about 20 miles southeast of the Three Sisters. This disturbance could potentially lead to increased seismic activity or minor volcanic unrest at Mount Bachelor due to changes in pressure within the Earth's crust. Similarly, Newberry Volcano, situated about 30 miles southeast, might experience increased volcanic gas emissions or minor seismic activity if it were influenced by magma dynamics from an eruption at the Three Sisters. These changes could alter the local stress fields and trigger a subtle volcanic response at these nearby volcanoes. Mount Hood, about 60 miles to the north, could also be indirectly affected by ashfall and increased rainfall from an eruption at the Three Sisters. Ash could spread towards Mount Hood, leading to minor impacts such as ash deposition and altered weather patterns, though it would not necessarily trigger an eruption there. However, for these other Cascade volcanoes to experience a direct volcanic response, the eruption at the Three Sisters would need to be particularly large or explosive. The interconnected nature of the Cascade Volcanic Arc means that even minor changes in volcanic activity at one location can influence nearby systems, but it is unlikely to directly trigger a major eruption at another volcano without a significant event at the source. The United States Geological Survey, USGS, continuously monitors the entire Cascade Volcanic Arc for signs of unrest, using a network of seismic stations, GPS stations, and satellite data to detect any changes in ground deformation, gas emissions, or seismic activity that might indicate an impending eruption. This monitoring network allows for rapid detection and assessment of any such developments. While the risk of a major eruption at another nearby volcano being directly triggered by an eruption at the Three Sisters is minimal, the interconnected nature of the volcanic system means there are always some secondary risks associated with volcanic activity in the region. The preparedness of local communities and ongoing scientific monitoring help mitigate these risks, ensuring timely warnings and appropriate emergency responses in the event of any volcanic unrest. And finally, what could trigger an eruption? The potential triggers for an eruption of the Three Sisters volcano are related to the dynamics of magma accumulation and movement within its volcanic system. One of the primary triggers is the buildup of magma beneath the volcano. The Cascade Volcanic Arc is formed by the subduction of the oceanic Juan de Fuca Plate beneath the North American Plate, which generates the necessary heat and pressure to melt rock into magma. This magma rises through the crust due to its buoyancy, accumulating in a magma chamber beneath the Three Sisters. If this magma continues to accumulate and pressurize without a clear pathway to escape, it can eventually exceed the strength of the surrounding rock leading to an eruption. Seismic activity also plays a crucial role. Small to moderate earthquakes within the region can be an indicator of increased pressure within the volcanic system. These earthquakes may be caused by the movement of magma through the Earth's crust, 
creating stress that fractures the surrounding rocks and allows magma to move closer to the surface. Such seismic activity could suggest that an eruption is imminent, although not necessarily certain. Ground deformation is another significant factor. GPS and satellite data can detect changes in the shape of the land surface, such as uplift or tilting, which indicate that magma is moving towards the surface. This deformation occurs when magma intrudes into the upper crust, pushing the surface upwards. These changes can precede an eruption by weeks to months and are a key early warning sign of potential volcanic activity. Increased volcanic gas emissions, particularly sulfur dioxide, SO2, and carbon dioxide, CO2, are also associated with the buildup of magma beneath the volcano. As magma rises through the crust, gases like sulfur dioxide can be released into the atmosphere, Elevated levels of these gases at the summit of the volcano signal the presence of new magma and increased volcanic activity. An eruption could also be triggered by the interaction of magma with water, such as from melting snow or groundwater. This interaction can cause phreatic eruptions, steam-driven explosions, that occur when rising magma contacts water, leading to rapid vaporization and violent steam explosions. Although not as explosive as magmatic eruptions, these events can still be hazardous due to the release of steam, ash, and fragments of rock. The combination of these signs, magma accumulation, seismic activity, ground deformation, increased gas emissions, and interaction with water, forms the basis for assessing the risk of eruption at the Three Sisters. The United States Geological Survey, USGS, continuously monitors these signals through a network of seismic stations, GPS stations, and satellite data. If any of these signs are detected, the USGS would raise the alert level, issue warnings, and prepare for potential volcanic activity. While not all of these events may directly lead to an eruption, they collectively provide important clues about the current state of the volcano and help in preparing for future volcanic activity. Stay tuned for more updates on this fascinating and potentially hazardous volcanic system. Thanks for watching, and remember to subscribe for more videos on the wonders and challenges of our natural world.